One day I find myself in church on Sunday. I just had a feeling that that was where I needed to be. Um, and so I went there, I was a little late. I got there after worship had ended and I sat down and the preacher said, um, he said, Holy Spirit, you're welcome here. And in that moment, I felt this rush from, from my head to my toes, from my arms to my fingertips, like all the way down of this presence, this, as Stephen Bancar says, this, this self-authenticating experience. You know when you're in the presence of the Creator. And I felt like I was being hugged from the outside, but I also felt filled up from the inside. And, and in that moment, you know, that void in my stomach, that, that black hole, that, that seemingly never ending pit inside of me was just filled. And, and I knew in that moment, like, I knew that I had found it. I knew that my searching was over, that I was standing before the one who created me and the one who created all of this. And I knew that there was a God-shaped hole in my heart that only God could fill. And you know, I, I tiptoed into the church like, you know, my first time there, I was looking around at all the people and, you know, my honest thought was, was you guys are naive, like, you're just, this is weird, you know, I'm not these people. And, but I knew I felt God in that church. And so I kept going back. And so I knew that there was something real about it. You know, there's something happening here. It's the presence of God was living there. And so... And there's something powerful about a room full of people calling upon the presence of God. Um, and so I kept going back and I kept praying to God, you know, I, well, so first I, I kept going back and I realized very quickly that Jesus, by the name Jesus kept coming up, you know, that Jesus was a huge part of this place, you know, and I didn't know how I felt about Jesus. Like at the time I thought, you know, that he was just a very, you know, enlightened being and he was a prophet and he came to show us, you know, a good way to live. And I didn't know how I felt about him being the son of God and how, you know, him dying on the cross for my sins. I didn't understand any of that. And so I just kept praying to God, you know, to reveal it to me, to reveal it to me. Um, and so one day in church, I was worshiping, <clears throat> excuse me. And I, you know, I was really pressing in, worshiping, wanting to feel the presence of God, but I wasn't feeling anything. And so, you know, God deserves glory, even if I'm not getting anything back out of it. So I just kept worshiping and I was like, all right, God, like, I'm going to test it. Like, and so I, I closed my eyes and I said the name of Jesus and you guys <laughs> right in that moment. I was flooded, absolutely flooded with the presence of God. My knees got weak and I got this beautiful vision of, of Jesus just reaching his hand towards me. Just amazing, just so beautiful. And, and I knew through that impact that Jesus is the son of God. I knew it. I had no doubt.